So let's say I have a group, a customer group from Canada or any custom group, and all all my customers are tagged uh, with Canada. Example. Then inside the automatic discount app, I can create a discount rule based on a customer tag, which will be Canada tag here. And uh, it will automate the application of the discount code at checkout based on that tag. Of course, the customers, the users will need to be logged in before reaching the checkout page because otherwise our app script cannot run. They don't, I mean, the app doesn't know who's buying if no one is logged in. Uh, but in the, in the discount rules here, uh, you will have to go to uh, the advanced rules which uh, has a fee right now but won't have I mean the advanced rules will be included in the paid subscription starting at the end of February to 2020 or March 2020 um, so yeah so it you will create a new rule You will look for a discount code. That means you need a discount code. And I will create a new discount code that I'll call, for example, Canada Customers. And uh, it could be anything. The most important part is that you can specific to, I mean, could be specific customers or it can be specific groups of customers. Because this additional customer eligibility restriction will make sure that no one's cheating at checkout by entering the coupon code manually. So uh, I want to make sure that only people from Canada in the customer group and they are also tagged. And you can also use um, uh, auto tag apps, a uh, customer tagger or some similar apps that will automatically tag the customers based on their previous order based on who where they are etc etc but or app doesn't do that what the app does is that it will apply the discount based on the trigger the trigger will be the customer tag in one of canada and this is case sensitive make sure uh that you write the the right stuff there no if it's Canada like this, you write it like that. No, oh, capital C. Anyway, this is case, case sensitive. So I will make a rule with the discount that I just created. Um, okay, so I did the, the discount. So I'll create a rule with the Canada discount based on the customer tag Canada. I could also add another rule that I want to make sure that people have over a hundred bucks in their cart, current cart, or uh, you know, based on the past orders that they made or the number of items that they have. Or you can also add a custom JavaScript function, but I won't go there. I just want to show you that, for example, if the cart has at least a dollar and the customer is tagged Canada, then. Uh, Canadian rule uh, yeah so I'll create a new group now I have my rule here I can publish it there so what it does it will trigger the application of the automatic of the discount code automatically if the customer is logged in before reaching checkout and if it has the tag Canada and if it has at least a dollar in the current shopping cart then at checkout it will i mean shopify takes over the checkout that means it will check if it also meet or respect the uh, restrictions inside the discount itself which has another layer of restriction based on the customer eligibility the customers that can claim are the ones in the groups from canada